Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. Got some exciting things going on now with the NFL season underway. We're actually now into week two. So we're going to get, we're going to get started and look at some of the games for week two. But before we do, I want to invite you to join us. So you'll have access to the VIP club section here, which has all of these wonderful tools here to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some NFL games for week two. And we're going to look at five of the games. We're going to look at Baltimore and Cincinnati first. Baltimore comes in ice cold up. They're coming off of a win over Houston by 16 points. The Bengals are coming off of a, a terrible loss at home to the uh, on the road to the Browns, 24 to 3. It was just bad all the way around. Um, so both teams are coming in ice cold, ice cold down for the Bengals, ice cold up for the Ravens. Even with the bad performance in week one, Bengals come in as favorites of 1.62 to 2.358 uh, with the, the spread of 3.5 points and the over-under at 46.5. Cincinnati, here you see, has a 61% chance of winning the game with the score prediction in favor of the Bengals by, but by only 3 points, 31 to 28. But look at the confidence in prediction, very low at 38.3%. Interestingly enough, uh, with the score prediction being so high, which would be way over the line, the teams have been involving games under the line. Both of them in the opener were under the line. Um, Cincinnati has won 80% in favorite status in the last five games. That's an interesting thing to take a look at before we make your pick here. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, look at uh, Cincinnati at plus um, 26, while the Ravens are at plus 10 at the moment. Um Volatility oscillator isn't going to mean much at this point in the year. We're not going to take a look at that yet. Take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups. From last season, you can see Cincinnati won the, uh, on January 15th, and they also won on January the 8th. The 15th was a playoff matchup, and but the Baltimore won in October in Baltimore by a 19-17 score. In the end here, I like the Bengals to rebound in the second game of the season at home. I think it's going to be a lower scoring game, so go with the Bengals and under the line. The next game we want to look at here, not Green Bay and Atlanta. There's a lot of games here. You can take a look at all these on your own, but I'm just taking a look at some of these games I feel are going to be the more interesting matchups here. Kansas City and Jacksonville. Jacksonville is coming in burning hot. They are coming off of a win by 10 points over the Colts. And Kansas City coming off of a very bad loss at home to the Jets, 21-20. Despite the loss, uh, Kansas City is a favorite by 3.5 points with odds of 1.62 to 2.358. The over-under is set at 51.5. If you take a look at the score prediction, it's Jacksonville 31, Kansas City 30. Confidence in prediction is about 57%, so a little bit more than the toss of a coin. Um, an important thing maybe to look at here is that Jacksonville has covered the spread 100% of its last five games as an underdog. So they are covering the spread on a regular basis. And But right now, even though they are a slight underdog, you see here that the uh, prediction is 51% chance of Jacksonville to win to 49%. So it is still uh, very, very close. If you look at the power ranks indicator, Jacksonville is at plus 26 and Kansas City is at plus 25, so nearly neck and neck in that category as well. Let's take a look and see if there's any been any kind of line movement. If the Here's the line here. Um, this is the Kansas City money line. You can see it started at, where was the opening line here, at 1.641. Uh, it did get to 1.51, it is now 1.52. So it is a, a more heavy favorite for um, Kansas City than it was when the line first opened. And I'm leaning that way as well, as well. I can't see that the defending Super Bowl champions will start in an 0-2 hole. I like Kansas City, but I think Jacksonville is going to cover it, and I like this to be a higher-scoring game going over the line. The next game we want to look at is Seattle and Detroit. Detroit's coming off of that big win. They are burning hot at the moment. Seattle coming off of a bad loss at um, to the Rams, they lost uh, at home by 17 points. It's a really bad loss. Detroit's coming in as a pretty heavy home favorite of 4.5 points, with the odds of 1.46 to 2.735, and the over/under is set at 46.5. Interestingly enough, though, both teams uh, were involved in games under the line in the opener, 
And the score prediction, if this holds true, of 43 to 15, but the confidence in prediction is very low at 48%. But if it would come in with this kind of score or something uh, thereabouts this score, we'd be looking at a game over the line. Detroit has a 63% chance of winning this game. Um, let's see, have the two teams met last year. We'll take a look at that, that after the power ranks indicator, which we see right now. Is Detroit at plus 27? Seattle, after that bad loss, dipped from 27 all the way down to plus 4. Now, we will look at the head-to-head -head matchups from last year. And they did play last year on October 2nd, with Seattle winning in a shootout 48-45. to I don't see the game to be as high scoring as that one. I do like the over, though. I like the over in this one with the lines coming out on top and covering the spread. The third game is San Francisco and the Rams. Again, the Rams are coming off of a win. They are dead up because it was a very nice win for them. But even despite the win, they are heavy underdogs at home of 1.31 for 49ers to 3.46 odds for uh, the Rams. The spread is at 7.5 points in favor of the 49ers with an over-under of 44.5. And part of that is because San Francisco just demolished Pittsburgh uh, on the road last week, 30-7. San Francisco looks like the real deal again this year, at least after the first game. Uh, the score prediction has the 49ers by 10 points, 30 to 20. And the confidence in the prediction is at 59.1%. Let's take a look at what the two teams did against each other last season. They met twice with the 49ers winning by more than two touchdowns both times. Um, I see much of the same this time around. I don't really see... Uh, much going to happen for the Rams. But let's take a look at the movement in the money line first. Uh, you can see here it opened at 1.41 odds for the 49ers. And it is more heavily in favor of the 49ers now at 1.31. So again, I like this to be a 49ers win without too much difficulty. And I say San Francisco in a game going under the line. The Jets and the Cowboys. This will be a good one as well. Although it's, it looks like heavy favorite for the Cowboys, uh, 1.24 odds to 4.245. They're an 8.5 point favorite over the Jets with over under 38.5. Um, the Jets did win despite Aaron Rodgers uh, you know, getting injured after what it was like the third or fourth play of the game. He's out for the season. We'll see how they do without him in there. But you know they won last week. Um, both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Cowboys in the score prediction, 34 to 16 winners with 63% confidence in the prediction. And you see that there's a 77% chance of Dallas to win this one. I mean, Dallas did demolish the Giants last week, 40 to nothing. And Dallas has covered the spread in 80% of their last five games. So let's take a look at the Power X indicator. You will see that. Dallas is at plus 23, while the Jets, even after their win, only came up to plus 9. Um, the way I'm going to look at this is, well, let's take a look at the money line first. Has there been any movement in the money line? Let's see. Yeah, look at this. It started at 1.671, and right in here, see here? Sharp line move detected against the Cowboys right there, but then it leveled off, and right now you see that the current is at 1.24, so a real heavy favorite for the Cowboys in this one. I see it going that way. The Cowboys will win this one. Um, I think this will be a Cowboys win to cover the spread and over the line. Washington and Denver, Miami and New England. You can see the final few games here on the schedule for the week. New Orleans and Carolina. Cleveland and Pittsburgh, that would be a good one as well. I'm not taking a look at any more of the games for this week, but I just want to run through the rest of them that you can look at your choosing and at your convenience. So there you have it. Those are the NFL games for week two. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.